glucagon-like peptide 1 analogs, also known as GLP-1 agonists, are a class of incretin mimetics used primarily in the management of type 2 diabetes mellitus. They mimic the effects of endogenous GLP-1 hormone, which enhances glucose-dependent insulin secretion, suppresses glucagon release, slows gastric emptying, and promotes satiety. In this video we will talk about some clinical pearls regarding GLP-1 agonists. So, let's get started. Pearl number 1. Weight Loss Benefits GLP-1 agonists can lead to significant weight loss, making them an attractive option for patients with type 2 diabetes and obesity. Liraglutide and semaglutide are also FDA-approved for weight management in non-diabetic patients. Pearl number 2. Cardiovascular protection. Liraglutide, semaglutide, and dulaglutide have demonstrated reductions in major adverse cardiovascular events, making them particularly beneficial for diabetic patients with established cardiovascular disease. Pearl number 3. Nausea and gastrointestinal side effects. Nausea, vomiting, and diarrhea are common side effects, especially during the initiation phase. Starting with a low dose and gradually increasing the dose can help mitigate these effects. Patients should be counseled on eating smaller meals and avoiding high-fat foods. Pearl number 4. Pancreatitis risk. GLP-1 agonists are associated with a small but real risk of pancreatitis. Patients should be monitored for symptoms of pancreatitis, like severe abdominal pain and vomiting. Therapy should be discontinued if pancreatitis is suspected. Pearl number 5. Renal Function Consideration While most GLP-1 agonists do not require dose adjustment for mild to moderate renal impairment, but their use should be monitored in patients with severe renal disease. Exinotide and lexicinotide are contraindicated in patients with severe renal impairment, with GFR less than 30 milliliters per minute. In summary, GLP-1 agonists are effective agents in the management of type 2 diabetes mellitus, with added benefits of weight loss and cardiovascular protection. Their mechanism of action involve enhanced glucose-dependent insulin secretion and slowed gastric emptying, which provides effective glucose control with minimal risk of hypoglycemia. However, nausea, pancreatitis risk, and the potential for thyroid tumors in predisposed individuals must be considered. Their use is particularly valuable in patients with obesity, cardiovascular disease, or in those who require additional weight management. So, that's all for today. Thanks for watching. If you found this video helpful, make sure to give it a thumbs up and hit that subscribe button for more content like this. Leave your thoughts or questions in the comments below, and I'll see you in the next video. Thank you.